Hi, it's Venom Cannon 13. Uh, today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the Ruger Security 6. Uh, of course, first of all, we do a check. Uh, we are not loaded, we're safe. Uh, the Ruger Security 6 has uh, been made by Sturm Ruger. It's a double action revolver. Uh, as you can see, trigger pulls the hammer back and releases the hammer can also be used as single action. So this is a single action, double action revolver. Uh, this one is in 357 Magnum. Uh, Ruger made these rifle, um, made these pistols from around 1968 until around 1988. Uh, they made approximately 1.5 million uh, Security 6s and variants. Um, and then they were replaced by the Ruger GP100, which uh, came out around 1988. Uh, this Security 6 and its variants, they came in four calibers, uh, 38 Smith & Wesson, 38 Special, 357 Magnum, and 9mm. Uh, this one here is the 357. Um, it also shoots the 38. So this is a 38, and then this is a 357 Magnum. Uh, the diameter of the case is, is 357. Uh, the 38 is also a diameter of 357. So uh, the 38 is a little bit of a misnomer, um, but they are both the same diameter and therefore they will both fit in the same diameter chamber. Uh, the variants of the Security 6, uh, there was one called the Service 6 which was mostly marketed to law enforcement agencies and there was one called the Speed 6 which was mostly exported to uh, British Commonwealth countries uh, like India, uh, places like that. Uh, this one is an actual Ruger Security 6. Um, the Security 6 came in uh, three barrel lengths, uh, 2.75 inches, uh, 4 inches, and 6 inch. And this one here is the 4 inch measuring the barrel from where it starts back here you can see that that's right on four inches so this is the four inch um, the cylinder drops to the left as you can see and during firing it rotates counterclockwise uh, and just something to keep in mind if you're not familiar with the revolvers the actual um, casing that's going to be fired actually starts in this position and as the hammer draws back it, it rotates into the top position so the one that's going to be fired is not here it's actually over here so as you pull the trigger back it is rotating uh, up into the next spot so the one that you're going to fire starts here and ends up at the top as the hammer is cocked um, this is one of the first uh, modern revolvers to use a transfer safety uh, bar feature, safety feature. Uh, the hammer does not directly contact the firing pin. So if you look closely, you can see that the, the firing uh, pin there, and you can see this transfer bar, bar coming up. The hammer itself, uh, this top square part of the hammer, um, does not contact the firing pin. It actually um, contacts into this empty spot up here. Um, as you can see there's a slight slant to the hammer and then as the hammer the hammer comes forwards you'll be able to see that the first thing to hit is that flat part of the hammer and it will hit that transfer bar first before the actual top part of the hammer even gets in. Uh, so what happens is um, since the hammer is not directly contacting the firing pin, uh, if this is dropped, um, the, ha the hammer um, will not cause the firearm to discharge in this condition. Um, and as you can see, if you partially cock it, you can see the transfer bar starting to rise up. But if you let it go, uh, it goes back down before the hammer has a chance to hit it. So it will not accidentally fire. The transfer bar does not reach the full position to cover the firing pin there until this is fully cocked. 
So even all the way back to here, if I let this go, uh, it would not fire. You have to cock the hammer all the way to the back. At that point there, the transfer bar is actually locked in position, and now it will hit the firing pin as the hammer is released. So then as the hammer is released, it contacts the firing, the hammer contacts the transfer bar, the transfer bar goes into the firing pin, which of course goes through and, and strikes uh, the round that is in the uh, cylinder at the top. So uh, instead of the force, um, instead of the hammer, the hammer cannot contact the firing pin. Uh, instead, the force of the hammer is transmitted through the transfer bar and into the firing pin. Um, and it's normally, of course, under normal circumstances that transfer bar is positioned out of the hammer's path and cannot hit the firing pin. Um, the transfer bar only comes into uh, position at full pull that cocks the hammer. Um, this provides safety if it's dropped. Uh, the hammer cannot be cocked if the chamber is out. Uh, you can't pull the trigger if the cylinder is out. And also, um, if the hammer is pulled back, you cannot release the cylinder. So once the hammer is cocked, the cylinder is locked in place. Okay. Um, this one is in the blued carbon steel, 357 Magnum. Uh, the front sight is fixed, as you can see. Uh, the rear sight is adjustable. Uh, we talked about the 4 inch barrel. Um, all Security 6s came with wooden grips. Um, there were available uh, rubber grips that were available to be changed uh, for these, but when they came off the line, um, they all had the, uh, the wooden grips. So this is the Rook Security 6 uh, that has been used in several movies, uh, most notably in the original Terminator movie. Um, when Kyle and Sarah are at the, ho at the motel, um, Kyle gives Sarah a Security 6 uh, to protect herself while he goes for supplies. And uh, at the very end of that movie, when Sarah is driving off into the desert in the Jeep, uh, she has a stainless uh, Ruger Security 6 in her lap. Uh, they show that right at the end of the movie. Uh, Ruger Security 6 also was in License to Kill, which is a 007 James Bond movie. Um, Timothy Dalton was James Bond in that movie. And uh, one of the villains in the movie, um, Ed Killifer, uh, drew a Security 6 uh, on Bond. Uh, in that movie. So that's a couple places you can see the Ruger Security 6 uh, in the movies. So again, this is the Ruger Security 6. It is in 357 Magnum uh, and also shoots 30th Special, of course. Um, Ruger has a good reputation with their revolvers. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty solidly made. Um, I found it to be quite accurate. Uh, it's fun to shoot and uh, my uh, boys really like it as well. So. Um, highly recommend it. If you can find one, go ahead and grab it. Once again, the Rug Security 6 in uh, 357 Magnum. Also shoots 38 Special. Okay, this is Venom Cannon 13, uh, part 1 for the Ruger Security 6. Uh, part 2, we'll try to take it to the range uh, and do some shooting with it. Uh, until then, have a good day.